I've got an upcoming project uh, that needs some curve bending, but I've never done any, so I wanted to exercise on something smaller. The gaps you get uh, when doing the curves are a big no-no for me. I don't want to do any elimination, and the strength is also a concern. So I came up with a pretty simple solution to that. Just use a router instead of your circular saw. The process I'm using is more like MVP proof of concept, so you can come up with better ways. I've got at least three ideas how to do this better, but I just wanted to try it out. You do everything the same way you would do it with a circular saw. You just cut a couple of parallel grooves and then bend the part across. I'm using Ash Hardwood and it really doesn't bend. Unless you've steamed it. And if you do steam it, it bends like rubber. All the same rules apply here, like do not bend on nuts and choose the proper thickness of the remaining part. So I should have left a little more thickness, that way I could do better sanding. The bit that I'm using is a carving bit from a CNC shop. It has a 4.5 degree taper. The idea was that I'll have to do 10 grooves to get 90 degrees. But it doesn't work that way, because there is a tip diameter and it heavily affects the result. So I suggest using a bit with smallest tip diameter and not caring about the angle. Obviously you need to choose shank diameter that will fit your router. Also these bits are usually very long and you should go for a shorter one, because you can easily end up having a bit that sticks out even on shallowest setting. Obviously this approach takes a little more effort, but all in all I think it's totally worth it. These tents can easily hold me without breaking, and I weighed 90 kilos, that's 200 pounds. And they just don't look too bad at all. <laughs> 